friends, uh, welcome to another video and this is a first impressions video. Um, it's a new soap, obviously, being first impressions. One that I've not used the scent before, the formula, yes, we all know the formula. Um, and if you've seen yesterday's video, you'll know exactly what soap I'm on about. It's the Wickham's 1912 Le Bleu, limited edition soap for the Against the Grain Forum. Um, so, what do we know about Le Bleu? Um, well, the scent is modelled after a Chanel scent. Um, it's a limited edition. It's Wickham's usual fantastic 1912 formula. The initial scent is aquatic. It's blue. And blue is a very it's a generic term, but... It suits the scent because it is very marine type in its nature. It's fresh, it's sporty. Not massively strong, but pleasant. So, the other little interesting thing about this scent lid, the logo, as you can see, it's taken a little bit of an inspiration from the Against the Grain Forum logo, um, being the beard and tash. And the name of the soap is also on top of Libler, where it normally exists on the side of the lid, like so. Other than that, we know it's 1912. It's brilliant. And uh, the usual kind of fair on the back of the pot ingredients list, batch number. With the limited edition numbers, uh, 140 grams, yes. Great amount of soap for a very good price. That covers all of the Wickham soaps, by the way. And like I say, just a wonderful blue scent. And um, I'm wearing blue today. I say wearing. Um, it's blue. These are my Superman PJs. It's early in the morning on Friday, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm in my PJs. Um, not on annual leave anymore, working from home today. So I thought I'd get the shave in early because it's only 20 past 7. I say early, I normally shave at 5 when I'm working. So it's late in a way, but early for others. Um, so yeah, I better get a stomp on them. I've only got well, as long as I like really before I start. But uh, yeah, early start, early finish because tomorrow's Saturday is Poets Day. I don't know what Poets Day is, ask him the question, see if you can guess. And if you know, if you don't, you've got a good treat and you won't stop saying it. Anyway, the shave. So, the soap is going to be Le Bleu. The razor is going to be the Razor Rock Bazooka. Lovely heavyweight handle, mild head, with a blade in there that's an Astra Superior stainless. And this is day 15 on this blade. Um, it's done 14 full days, so 42 passes um, prior to today. Why am I using it on day 15, you ask? Well, I like to use a blade until it stops feeling good. When it stops feeling good, I've got my money's worth out of it, it goes in the bin. And at the minute, this blade still feels good. It gives me a good, power, good shave on all three passes. It doesn't tug. There's no bluntness really, um, doesn't cut me, doesn't give me irritation to speak of, above and beyond what normally dragging a blade across the skin would do. Basically it performs pretty much as new. So yeah, that's why I'm using that razor blade today. And of course, brush wise, it's a cadmium, 26mm, silver tip knot, oh I've got the first shed first one. You know, over 100 uses on this brush, nearly 110. So yeah, Cadman 26mm silver tip knot soaked. I've hot toweled, let's get on with it. So I've got a relatively dry brush and all I'm going to do, I'm going to face lather today. Um, well, normally I like to bowl lather, um, but because we know this soap well in terms of the formula and its quirks, I'm going to go straight to face lathering. Um, now, Wickham soaps lather really easy. Um, <clears throat> I like to load particularly heavy. 
because I don't want to run out of lavender in the shave. Now the scent is quite mild in the pot. And as I say, it loads easy, it's ridiculously easy. And I've got more than enough lather here to, to do the shave. In fact, I've probably got about enough here for five passes on the initial build. So, I've got a good amount of lather in the brush. <coughs> and I don't like to waste. So if you're viewing pleasure and you get to look, have me look silly, I'll take this lather. Wipe it on my face and the scent on the, the pre-lather nice, it's nice and mild. There we go, I look silly don't I? But I don't care, it's all for, all for fun. Let's start building a ladder. Again the scent stays nice and mild, it's not overpowering. And it's a bit thick at the minute, so okay, add some water. I literally just dip the tips a couple of mil or so into the water. Bring it back to the face and away you go. Still a little thick. Just look at that. Look at all that leather. And all that. Crazy. I think we're done. <clears throat> so I find the 1912 formula doesn't need anywhere near as much water as, say, a, a, a tallow soap. That scent is lovely and fresh and mild. I like it. So, onto the shave. We're going to do the full three passes and we're going to enjoy them. So, hopefully, you had. A lovely day yesterday. What was Storm Doris? Just claimed two victims in my garden. One was the paper recycling bin. It and its contents spread all over the place, and a fence panel between my back and front garden, which I had to go out and repair in the middle of the wind. Um, because we have a dog and she likes to go out and do her peeps and boops outside. So, can't have her running off. That would be a tragedy. Um, so, fence repair it was in the middle of a storm. Which is interesting, because our fence posts are concrete posts with slots, which means you're having to lift a six foot fence panel up into the air, bring it down into the slots. Which, as you can imagine, in the middle of a storm was not fun, because it's like a big sail. But I got it done. 
our slot. Our slot being the Sorrel clan. We got defeated by a little thing called the weather. No. Bit of wind. Never hurt. But I said never hurt anyone. That, that would be a lie because we never did. Um, but yeah. I think the old song from the, uh, from the Disco era, Ain't No Stopping Us Now, is more apt. I remember one particular instance as a young chap, I would have been probably about 12 or 13 at the time. And uh, it was a particularly grim day weather wise, it was blowing a gale. And, well, the rain was going sideways, shall we say. And we had a busted drain between the house and the main sewer. And uh, as a consequence, we couldn't use the loo, couldn't do any washing, couldn't use the sink, because it all went out through the main drain. And, uh, yeah, so me and my dad buggered off to Wix. Purchase the bits we need because we knew we'd need some, but I say we put into weeks. Dug up the patio, dug up, went down about three foot or however deep it was, it was about three foot into the clay northwest Kent soil. Found that this, the main pipe between the house and the drain had collapsed. Figured out what we needed, went to Wicks, come back, replaced it all in the middle of the pouring rain and the, and the gale, and we got the job done. We didn't give up. So, a little bit of wind from yesterday, a bit of rain. The only thing it stopped me doing was uh, pulling out the drill to drill pilot holes. In the wood, I'm ready to receive screws. So instead I used brute force with hammer and nail, did the same job, but I like to do it properly if I can, so I will replace the panel after I've stained it. Anyway, back to the shaving soap, the scent, wonderfully fresh. Uh, now I cannot claim to be a knowledge of the, or have knowledge of the scent of the cologne that this is modelled after, because I don't own it. And as far as I'm aware, I've never actually sampled it in any of the fragrance shops, because I tend to go for woody, spicy aftershaves. Um, but on the strength of this, I will be going to buy a bottle of the Chanel cologne. Um, it's not cheap, but if this scent is anything to go by, it's really wonderful. Now, 1912 formula is what it is, it's brilliance. Now, by that I mean it's slick, it offers fantastic cushion and the post shave is sublime. You don't need a balm <coughs> after 1912, you don't need moisturiser, you don't need to do anything really. Um, I say really about that. It actually, I have a 
the rating system by which I score all my soaps. And it's a weighted scoring system. I'm not sure if I've explained it to you in the past, but I rate a soap on the scent, which only accounts for 10% of the score, the latherability, which again accounts for 10%. And then we have post shave, cushion, and slickness. And scent is the most subjective um, part of any soap, in my opinion, um, because it's, well, everyone likes different smells. Um, but in terms of performance for me, I, all soaps have to have great post shave, they have to have great slickness and cushion f to qualify anywhere near um, being purchased again um, on my scoring system. And Wickham's are one of the very limited numbers of soaps. In fact, they, they are one of three that score 10 out of 10 on all of the, the shaving criteria. Um, what can I say? Brilliant formula. Um, Darren, do not change it. Um, I, didn't, I didn't actually get to try your super smooth formulas. Um, and I know you wouldn't have dropped that lightly. But this formula... To, uh... Coin... Race for a fantastic film with Liam Neeson. And it's not going to be word for word because I don't know it word for word. But Darren, you have a particular set of skills. Um, if you change this formula, I will find you. I won't necessarily kill you, but I will browbeat you into making it again. Um, <clears throat> anyway, as you can see, we've gone through two passes. A fantastic shave so far, by the way. Um, we're going to go on for the third against the grain pass. Okay, just to recap with the bazooka, 15 day old Astra Superior Stainless Blade. This is a wonderful scent. It's very fresh. Very first summary. It it conjures up pictures in my head of being being on a holiday somewhere sort of semi tropical, you know. Somewhere, somewhere active, somewhere sporty, somewhere watery. It's like, I can imagine being in Miami, you know, um, on a beachside restaurant with that kind of fun, sporty things going on. So yeah, the scent is superb. And the formula is superb. And I know from speaking to a few people already who aren't members of the Against the Grain Forum, who didn't know 
that this soap has been developed, they're already keen to purchase it, although sadly it is limited edition. Um, I suspect, <coughs> excuse me, that if this formula, I'm sorry, if this formula, this scent was part of the stock lines, it would be a hit and would sell very, very well. So, chaps, three classes, fantastic shave. What do we think? Well, Le Bleu, Le Bleu. Chanel de Bleu is the scent that it's modelled after. I'll find out later this week if it's an accurate model. Um, I hope so, because this smells wonderful. Um, I can't imagine it not being, because Darren is a man of skill. Particularly exceptional skill, based on the soaps I've tried so far. So yes, 1912 Le Bleu. Limited edition for the Against the Grain Forum, the logo there. It's fantastic. <coughs> it's a, the typical 1912 formula. Performs fantastically. Gives you a super smooth shave. Gives you wonderful skin post shave. Um, I know this is the first shave with it today. Um, but already I know, I can tell there's no tightening of the skin that I get sometimes with the cheaper, more problematic soaps. Um, or indeed some of the most expensive ones as well. Given me dryness and tightness, but uh, not with this ingredient list, no, um, like I say, we know it's top marks on the performance, and the scent is up there as well, it's a quality, quality scent, um, fresh, sporty, aquatic, fun, semi-tropical, it's wonderful, um, I can't wait to give this a full week's worth of use to really get to know the scent and to bring it out, and uh, hopefully after the weekend, I'll have a bottle of the cologne as well to marry up with it. Um, in fact, Darren, here's a little plea from little on me and probably a few others as well. This should not remain limited edition. And I know that's strong things to say after one go. Um, but I can tell. This scent will be very well received in the wet shaving community. I mean, you think how popular scents like Razor Ox Triple X were. Um, I know Stephen the Suffolk Shaver, he's already expressed interest in this after watching my mail call video yesterday. Darren, this is too good to keep limited. It's too good. 1912, you know, is sublime. This scent is a winner. Um, and if it comes with a magic splash, yes please, keep it on the main line, that'd be fantastic if you could. Um, may have to start one of those petitions, 100,000 votes and we get it debated in Parliament, gents, and we all know what happens there. So, I'm rambling, I've got work, surely, from home, it's lovely to work from home. So, I'm going to go and encode the video and get it uploaded for you today. So gentlemen, thank you for watching. Um, this has been the 1912 formula with the Le Bleu limited edition scent. I've been Nick. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd very much appreciate your thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, I'd very, very, very much appreciate your subscriptions. Um, I need to check my subscriber numbers actually, because um, I might just do a little bit of a giveaway and I get to a given level. Keep your eyes peeled, chaps. So thank you for watching. Like I say, this has been 1912 Le Bleu. I've been Nick. Bye.